We've got some news. So first up, the new time for the Abra Community Day has been announced. And they've also announced a couple of temporary updates they've made to the usual Community Day formula, which they've reintroduced as Community Day Play at Home Edition. So uh, with all that said, Abra Community Day will be taking place on Saturday, April 25th from 11 a.m. to the extended 5 p.m. in your local time. And during this time, much like previous community days, the featured Pokemon Abra will be appearing more frequently out in the wild, and if you're lucky, you may encounter a shiny Abra. Also worth noting is that if you evolve Abra during the event or up to two hours after the, after the event, um, you'll be able to obtain an Alakazam that will know the exclusive fast attack counter. Now, ultimately, I'm not sure what the biggest benefit of adding counter to Alakazam is. Um, other than potentially giving it some extra coverage as well as um, with counter being just a generally good move for trainer battles in general, it could mean that Alakazam has some extra relevance in Ultra and Master League, possibly. Also worth knowing during this community day for the low, low price of one US dollar or the equivalent in your local currency, uh, you'll be able to unlock an Community Day exclusive special research story called Investigating Illusions. Uh, if you do manage to complete this special research story, you'll be rewarded with 13,000 Stardust, a Poffin, a Rocket Radar, and other rewards. I believe tickets have already gone live in the shop, so if you do want to um, participate in this special research, you now have the opportunity to do so. Um, other bonuses worth mentioning about Community Day, um, during this time you'll have uh, three times catch Stardust, so if you've been hanging on to any star pieces, now would be the opportune time to use them. Um, instead of the usual effect for lower modules on Community Day, um, Incense will be lasting for three hours instead of the usual one hour throughout the duration of the event. Um, buddy Pokemon with a buddy level of Great Buddy or higher will be able to bring you helpful items such as Pokeballs throughout the event. And during this time, there will be a special one-time purchase April Community Day bundle that contains an Elite Charge TM, uh, 30 Ultra Balls, 3 Super Incubators, and 3 Incense for the not as low price of 1,280 Pokecoins. Also worth noting is that if you take a snapshot during Community Day, you'll be rewarded with a surprise. Definitely be on the lookout for any potential special encounters or maybe special bonuses um, when taking pictures via Go Snapshot. But in any event, with all that said, I wish you all best of luck to those of you who are hunting for as many shiny Abra as you can. And best of luck to any of you who will be working on completing the special research um, during this community day. So next up, Niantic has announced the Buddy Up event, which will be taking place from Tuesday, April 21st at 8 a.m. to Monday, April 27th at 10 p.m. in your local time. And during this time, Pokemon such as Alola Meowth, Chansey, Eevee, Phoebus, Lillipup, and Joltik will be appearing both in the wild and hatching more frequently from 5 kilometer eggs. Um, the Pokemon Wubat will be appearing in the wild for the first time ever during this event. And will also be available as a reward for certain field research tasks. Um, it's also worth noting that Wubat will be available, will still be available in the wild, and then afterwards hatching from two kilometer eggs after the buddy up event is over. And finally, the region ex exclusive Pokemon Volbeat and Illumise will now be available everywhere out in the wild, or in eggs, uh, or as reward encounters in field research tasks. And if you are lucky, you'll now be able to encounter the shiny forms of Volbeat and Illumise. Uh, other bonuses worth mentioning about the Buddy Up event. Uh, buddy Pokemon will be bringing you more surprises more often. So look out for more items and souvenirs, as well as potentially a new kind of gift. Also worth noting is that the distance to earn Buddy Candy and Hearts will be halved during this event. Um, it'll now be easier for your buddy Pokemon to get excited during this event. Uh, feeding your buddy berries and puffins will allow your buddy to join you on the map for twice as long. And you'll earn twice the XP for evolving Pokemon, whether it be evolving your buddy or just another Pokemon. So all in all, with all that said, I wish best of luck once again to any of you shiny hunters who will be looking out for those shiny Volbeats or Illumise. 
And also, best of luck to any of you who may be looking to get your buddy Pokemon to the best buddy level during this event. So that's all of the news I have for today. Hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy during this time. And I'll see you guys in the next video.